Hey guys, this was quite the project here. Had a lot of roots and stumps in the way, and of course there's a lot of mud also. Had a couple trees to get out of the way. But we made it through, made it turn out good. Now we're getting started on the uh, dock. We got two docks and boathouses here. We're gonna get on one, then we'll have to come back and do the other one, but we'll get them done. And um, keep an eye out, you'll see this video as we uh, get it posted. Uh, hey guys, here's a new project we're starting. It's a uh, seawall and a boathouse. This old boathouse is coming down. We're going to be demoing that, hauling it to the Kelly's Reclamation Center over here. A lot of good stuff there. People love getting all that old reclaimed wood. Plus, it's a lot cheaper than the new stuff right now. We're going to be tearing this one out. And we got the next one right next door. A little bit older. Looks like it's about to fall apart. Got to be careful taking that one apart. And then when we get done, we've got a seawall starting down there at the pine tree. All the way down there. Come along the shoreline here all the way back over to the other seawall over there. So quite a bit of seawall here. I think it's close to uh, 250 foot, maybe about 300 foot. Demo is pretty much complete. Got the boathouse is tore out today, the lifts tore out, got just a little bit of walkway left so we could get out to our barge in the shallow water and get started on the seawall Monday morning. We get it down a little bit. We might have to put that vibrator back on. Get drag plates on. Now put them down in place.
boathouse pole set. We typically go with 8 inch 30s, but there was a lot of silt mud out here from this outfall drain that's right up there. So we went ahead and went with uh, 35s and we definitely needed it because the uh, last couple foot of pole I was finally able to pound down into some clay. Uh, about 15 foot plus in the ground, maybe about 18 foot on some of them. Now we're going to shoot over to the other side over here and do a couple, three more boathouse poles over there or sun deck poles. We'll have a covered sun deck. Here's a good view from the water side of the seawall we just completed. 320 feet. Final seawall looks really good. Getting all of our screws and string lines cleaned up now. So we're not getting wrapped around our prop. or leaving them there for somebody else to get tangled up in. That there the guys put a big effort into getting all these poles lined up because we know the guys that come in after us to frame it up has to deal with all the poles being out of place and out of square so we take a lot of time to make sure all the pilings lined up at the bottom for the decking and also at the top for the boathouse band nice straight lines that just don't happen overnight it takes a lot of practice get ready down at the boat ramp with the package of uh, framing package for the project stringers and the deck got the barge coming in now we're going to load some scrap we had on there get all this loaded up and deliver it right to the job site the meets have to carry it down that big hill over there got the framing package loaded up on the barge with all the decking now fix them head over to the uh, job site and get it dropped off We got all the material delivered to the shoreline up there. Got all the piling set, ready for Chase to come over here and start getting it framed up. We're going to move on to the next project. We got a, a boathouse to tear down and rebuild. Once we get this one here framed up and done, I'll get some shots at it and post them all. Hey guys, we got this project completed down here on the bayou. Chase and his crew knocked it out of the park on this one. Check this out. Here's the seawall we built, and here's the uh, dock and boathouse. Get some closer pictures of it, but it looks really good. If y'all haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe. We got plenty more coming up. Give me a like and share and comments if you got any. Please give me a comment, and I'll try to get back with you. Don't do the emailing because I have a hard time responding to all that. Thanks. Check this out. Got the grass put in. Got the irrigation in. Got the through flow decking down. A custom style dock. Got some nice solar lights on the side. Nice piling caps to offset the poles and protect the poles. Lower swim platform. We're getting on off jet skis or paddle boards or just hanging your feet in the water. Trademark dock on the side in there. We give everybody the dock life. And a nice platform. Turned out really good. Plenty area for sitting and watching the evening sunset to the west right here. This is definitely the dock life. Boat lift, ain't quite finished the wiring on it yet, but electricians are coming over to take care of that. Nice clean insulation where you get a, a tower boat in there. Nothing's gonna be in the way. You can lift the boat just as high as possible. Look at this beam. We spanned it actually 16 feet over here on this one here. Got a quadruple beam going across. That is heavy duty. Nice clean look up in the ceiling again over here as well. Lower step down for low water operation on this side when you tie a boat up alongside. Hey y'all, thanks for checking out my video again. I appreciate that. Keep on following and give me a subscribe if you like it and give me a thumbs up. If you've got any comments, leave me a comment here. I can answer that a lot better than getting back to you on emails. Uh, I get quite a few emails. It's just hard to respond to all those. So if you would, go ahead and just leave me a comment here and I'll answer it while I'm in between setting poles on the tractor. But uh, thanks a lot. We've got plenty more coming up. We've got a big seawall over at Pensacola Yacht Club we just did. Knocked that thing out in 10 days. So I'm really proud of that.